I am Chagwa and today I will be taking you through geometric sequence. With geometric sequence, there are a few things that you will always see in all the questions. Things like Tm, which means the nth term. A, which is the common, which is the first term. A is our first term. Sorry guys, let me just see this there. A is our first term. R is our common ratio. And N is the number of term. Then from here, what you also need to take into consideration is that to find R, which is the common ratio, R is equals to T2 divided by T1 is equals to T3 divided by T2. If the answers are not the same, then the, uh, the question that we have is not a geometric sequence. Remember, at T1, it's the first term. T2 is the second term. T3 is the third term. Up until you get up to Tn, which is the nth term. Then again, from here, you must always take into consideration that with geometric sequence to get the next term, what you do is to multiply the previous term with the common ratio. So for instance, to get if our first term is equal to A, of which remember A is equal to 12, is, is our first term. Then to get our second term, which is T2, we multiply our previous term by the common ratio. Then T2 will be T1 multiplied by our common ratio. Then it will be A multiplied by R. Then when we go to T3, the same thing happens. We multiply the previous ratio by our common, our, 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 we multiply our previous term by the common ratio. Then our previous term here is AR, it's T2 which is AR multiplied by our common ratio, it will be AR squared. The same thing happens when you do T4, you multiply the previous term by the common ratio of which it will be AR cube. Then if you can check here, there is a pattern from this thing that the first term is A, the second term is AR, the third term is AR squared, going on and on. But just looking at R here, cause A is common in each and every term here, but R is different according to, to the number of term. Then our R here in T2 is actually one. It has an exponent of one. Then when we come to T3, our R, it has an exponent of two. Then this brings us to a standard equation of geometric sequence, which says Tn is equals to a r into the exponent of number of term minus one n minus one this is the standard equation for the geometric sequence then a uh, let's just do a quick recap with geometric sequence you will find terms like tn which is the nth term a which is the first term r is the common ratio of which to find the common ratio, we use an equation T2 divided by T1 is equal to T3 divided by T2. This is just a, uh, to do the, the second one is just to confirm if the answer will be the same. If it's not the same, then you must know that the sequence that you are given is not a geometric sequence. And after that, we also have N, which is the number of term. Remember T1 is our first term. T2 is our second term and T3 is our first, is our third term, going on and on up until the nth term, which is Tn. Then from here, if our first term, for instance, it's one of which we already know that our first term is A, then if it's A, 
our second term to find the second term you multiply the previous term by the common ratio of which the second term which is t2 it will be the previous term which is a multiplied by the common ratio then it will be a r then going forward to the third term it will be the previous term which is t2 multiplied by the common ratio then it will be a r multiplied by r again which is the common ratio and it will give a r squared then we can actually come up with an equation from there that to get the number of term you must say tn is equals to a which is the first term multiplied by r which is the common ratio to an exponent of number of term minus one n is the number of term minus one of which you can see that it was the common thing here r there's no r because this one the first term is always a and when we come here our r it has an exponent of one of which it was in our second term so it was two minus one to give one day then the same thing happens to t3 it was three minus one to give two day all right let's do one example then to just see how to apply these rules into uh in a question all right for example we are given a term we are given sequence two a sequence of two negative six and 18. so we only have three terms in this sequence this is our t1 remember this is our t2 this is our t3 then the question says we must find our tn the equation for the sequence so our tn remember our standard equation is equals to a r n minus one then remember our a it's our first term of which from the sequence that we are given our first term is equals to two then our r which is the common ratio we find it by saying our t2 divided by t1 it's equals to t3 divided by t2 of which our t2 in this uh in this question is negative six our t1 is two and then our t3 is 18 divided by negative six of which both they will give us negative three then our common ratio is the same this is just a confirmation that's our that our sequence it is actually a, 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 a geometric sequence then going forward to find tn we just substitute a which is equal to two and our r which is equal to negative three into the standard equation which is tn is equal to a r n minus one then it would be our a is equal to two our r is equal to negative three into n minus one then this is our tn this is our equation for the sequence then the second question says we must find t20 with t20 we are now actually given the number of term which is n then instead of n in our in our equation there we must then now replace it with 20 to get the the the, the t20 so it will be 2 multiplied by it will be 2 multiplied by negative 3 into an exponent of 20 minus 1 then from a calculator using a calculator you go negative 3 into an exponent of 20 minus 1 which will give us uh, some big numbers multiply by 2 it will be the answer will be negative 2 comma 3 into a notation of 10 to the exponent of 9 then this is our answer okay a quick recap we are given a sequence to negative 6 and 18 these are only we are only given three terms then is t1 our t2 and our t3 then the question says we must find tn of which tn the standard equation says it's equal to a r into an expand of n minus 1 then our a is equal to 2 our r to find it we use an equation t2 divided by t1 it's equal to t3 minus t2 and it will be negative 6 divided by 2 18 divided by negative 6 of which we both got negative 3 from both uh from both sides then we got negative 3 
Going forward, we substitute into the equation to get 2 multiplied by negative 3 and minus 1. Then, we were then asked to find T20, of which we just substitute uh, 20 into the number of 10, and we got negative 2,3 to an exponent of 10 to the power of 9. Then, for example, just uh, for interest sake, if you were then asked to get the T4, to get T4, now that we have T, T if you were asked then to get T4, and remember, our if you need to find the next term, you actually use a formula that says your previous term multiplied by the common ratio. Then with here, if we were then asked to find T4, now that we know what is our T3, which is 18, then we say 18 multiplied by our common ratio, which is negative 3. Then it will be 18 multiplied by negative 3 of which it will be negative 54. All right, to just prove if that's the right answer, we can then use this equation to find if T4 will still be negative 54. Then let me just use this space right here. Right here, I'm just making space. It will be Tn is equals to 2 into negative 3 into exponent of 4 minus 1, of which it will be 2 into negative 3 and exponent of 4 minus 1 it will be 3 then going into a calculator it will be negative 3 cube multiplied by 2 uh, negative 3 cube multiplied by 2 of which indeed it does give negative 54 so both equations they still work to give us the right answer this one here what i did is to take remember we have our previous term which is 18 so to get the next term we use the previous term multiplied by the common ratio, which is negative 3. And then we got negative 54. But then to prove that the right, this is the right answer, we, use, we now then use this equation here for the sequence to find out if really the negative 54 for T4 is correct. Then we use that equation here to get our T4, which indeed it gives negative 54. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this session and you will uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel MetsXYZ so that you can get daily notification when we upload videos. And if you have any questions about any mathematical session, you just drop it in the comment note and we'll get back to you. Thank you.